Okay, we'll see. So uh, start with your readability check. This is the mandatory thing, right? Whenever you have you are joining the class, you should prefer readability check because there will be practice of phrases, RT phrases. Daily you will have practice. Yeah. Okay. Mumbai control. Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo Stand by Mumbai control Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo Mumbai control Contact Mumbai Tower on one one eight decimal seven five Mumbai control Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo on one nine three decimal two eight five. Changing over to Mumbai Tower on one one eight decimal seven five. Okay, we see. Good one. See, uh, here you can check one more thing. Like I had asked you to contact. Mumbai Tower, right? So instead of yes, sir. instead of saying these informations to me, because now I am not here to I am not here available to listen your calls, right? So if somebody asks you to contact someone, now you just need to inform these things, changing over that you are being changed to other frequency. You need not to say this much thing because his on. Uh, He'll not available to listen your calls. Okay, so you can send. Sir, uh, mm -hmm. yes, sir. Sir, call yeah. I'll give to Mumbai Control only, na sir. Call you had to give to Mumbai Control, okay? But Mumbai Control told you contact Tower because he is busy. He is engaged something else. Now you need to change over to Tower. Okay, no need to bother him. Okay. And if you if you wish ki wo mera naam at least jaan jaye, wo to apne station raise karke usko batai diya. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. So sir, uh, what I would have transmitted then? Directly changing over to Mumbai Tower on one one eight decimal seven five. Okay. Okay. Very good. So the, these little things you need to uh, you need to practice every day. After after covering up these things, now you will be more perfect. <clears throat> okay. okay. And Tan, is there anything from your side you want to perform your readability check? Yes, sir. Mumbai Ground Victor Tango Hotel Echo Mike.
मुंबई ग्राउंड विक्टर टेंगो होटल एको माइक चटेंगो होटल को माइक मुंबई ग्राउंड प्राइमरी वन टू थ्री सेकेंडरी थ्री टू वन आउट यूनिट मुंबई ग्राउंड विक्टर टेंगो होटल एको माइक प्राइमरी वन टू थ्री सेकेंडरी थ्री टू वन रेडियो फाइव Chetengo Hotel Eco Mic. <clears throat> Sorry for this. Victor Tango Hotel Eco Mic. Mumbai ground confirm your registration Victor Tango Hotel Echo Mic Mumbai ground Victor Tango Hotel Echo Mic No. See, uh, you can say Victor Tango Hotel Eco Mic means you can raise your registration. If I had asked you to name your registration number, I don't know your registration number, then only you can raise the station. Here, I already told you that I'm aware of about your registration number. I need to confirm it. So instead of that, you need to say affirm Victor Tango Hotel Eco Mic. There was the use of affirm. That clear? Because I'm, I'm yes, saying you, I'm saying your registration number two times, right? Means I am aware yes, of you. See uh, what happens when uh, when you will follow the uh, traffic rule and all. Means air, air traffic rule, not normal traffic rule. You will see some radio station will call you. Some radio station call you. You are about to land near to the Mumbai, suppose. Mumbai Radio will call you, ask you, Victor Tango Hotel Echo Mic, confirm ETA Mumbai 1355. ETA means expected time of arrival, estimated time of arrival. So your time of arrival, he has some idea when it is going to be land. So he'll ask you, confirm your ETA. And in the reply, you need to say, affirm. Yes, ETA one three five five. Okay, so this is the yes, use, this is the use of confirm and affirm. You need to do practice here also. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We say now uh, one question for you. Request for startup. Uh, ready to departure. You are ready to departure. Not Ganji, this is question to you. You are ready to departure. You can ask for startup. Any hypothetical data you can use, whatever you want to. Okay. Do the call.
मुंबई ग्राउंड विक्टर टैंगो अल्फा ब्रावो ब्रावो on 1905 decimal 38 and 6 apron 1 abus 320 wait medium request engine startup victor tango alpha bravo bravo startup approved startup approved victor tango alpha bravo bravo okay good one wait for one more situation here wait for one more situation here victor tango alpha bravo bravo startup not approved wait for sasna behind you report after clear Oh, yes, sir, I'm framing something. Please, one minute. Mm -hmm. Shall I write it more clearly this situation too? Because my writing yes, sir, yes, sir. also done. Okay. See, uh, don't don't focus on my writing every time. The call is all about. I uh, know, sir. I I am also writing, sir. Okay, you're you're also writing, na? So focus on. So I could have say here, yeah, say again, right, sir? No. what i told you victor tango alpha bravo bravo startup not approved wait for sasna behind you report clear or report clear of traffic so i had given you two task one wait for sasna that is somewhere behind you that's why your startup is not approved yesterday i showed you in a picture right that if some small aircraft is behind you then a startup will not be approved here you could have seen you could have say <coughs> you can say these things after this first you need to give read back startup not approved traffic in sight then either you could say will go or you can say will report after clear of traffic will report after clear of traffic then last you can say victor tango alpha bravo bravo that is end of your call have you understand these three things here why i had written this yes sir yes sir call looks good to you right yes sir see uh, this is the this, this could be the smartness of a student whenever they find any data they should have automatically find it out why 
this answer is so. If you find anything irrelevant in, uh, as per you, then you could have asked, sir, why so, why so? Like you, you may find, ki, sir, why you have written traffic in sight? But if you have understand why I have written traffic in sight, then this should be your smartness only, okay? And if you have any doubt, sir, why you have written traffic in sight, you could ask, okay? So this call structure is clear to you why I had written these three things here, any doubt? Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. No, sir, actually these things I have gone through, but I just forgot uh, now to speak. Okay, no, this is the practice, okay? <laughs> you should not forget to. Yes, sir. You should not forget to answer it always. Okay, this is the practice. That's all. No problem. That's why I had given this situation to you. Okay. Temkant, are you getting these things? Or shall I repeat one more time for you? Yes, sir. I'm getting. Very good. Very good. good. We have get uh, smart students, right? <laughs> we have get smart students. Very good. Both of you guys are doing well till now. Okay, so uh, one more thing to you. So I think uh, this call structure is clear to you. Means if you have find the call format for startup, then uh, we'll do practice for more such calls. But this is enough for you. You can find answer related to this. If you have pra uh, practiced the call related to the engine startup, ground run or engine run, then I don't think it will be difficult to you to find the answer for pushback, towing, like any kind of ground movement. Okay, call structure will be same. Try to put every data related to the call and you can answer your call, right? Is there find difficulty in such calls? You will see anything. Pushback in towing are also similar to the ground run only. In the last, you can just ask request instruction for pushback or request instructions for towing. All the data will be same your uh, stand, your aircraft type, vector lens, towing, and uh, one more thing for taxing also. Is that okay? Will you have any confusion in these three, four things? Because all are similar. Or shall I, uh, shall I give one more uh, example to you out of these? Mkant? क्या लग रहा है इतना एग्जांपल इनफ नहीं और चाहिए वन लास्ट एग्जांपल रिगार्डिंग टोइंग सो बाय द टोइंग बाय द डेफिनेशन दैट्स आर आई हैड टॉट यू डेफिनेशन इन द वेरी फर्स्ट नो डेफिनेशंस इन द अर्ली लेक्चर्स what does towing actually means that you need to tow your aircraft from one apron to other apron means your aircraft will not move at your power some tow tractor will come and pull you to some place okay so for the towing your call could be such just understand the data whatever i am writing just try to find relevancy. Mumbai ground, Victor Tango, Alpha Bravo Bravo. Stand. Sorry guys. My stylus was discharged and okay. stand for 
Airbus 320 request request instructions for towing from apron 1 to apron 4 for maintenance of aircraft. <coughs> Have you found relevant data till the time? Anything found you irrelevant or you have doubt that this is not necessary? Out of these things? Because this all RDR thing is hypothetical. Everything is hypothetical. You can induce any kind of situation which can justify your call. Okay? You will not generally find anything regarding towing in your actual exam question. First, but these practices, these examples is being given to you to find anything related to the call and you can give any data, any information which can justify your call. Okay? You have given the situation that you need to tow. Now, aircraft ka towing kab karoge? Kisi ek stand se dusre stand pe le jana hai to just for the parking purpose. Or, aapko kisi apron se dusre apron pe for the maintenance purpose. So here you have given a situation of maintenance. This purpose of maintenance could justify your call. Yes, you actually need towing. <coughs> Is that okay? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. You can use uh, as much of hypothetical data you can. That's why in the examination, Question लिखने के just बाद लिखा रहेगा use hypothetical data use hypothetical data अगर आपको कुछ भी situation नहीं मिल रहा है कोई सा भी answer कोई सा भी parameters वहाँ पे नहीं मिल रहा है use hypothetical data अपने मन से मन ग्रंथ which can justify your call <coughs> use any kind of hypothetical data is that okay Similarly, very fastly, <coughs> I'm going to show you the example of pushback also. You can say Mumbai ground, Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Bravo on stand one, okay. Airbus 320 with turbulence medium ready for departure focus on my words don't go to the handwriting and all because this handwriting is just to show you on initial days ready for departure request pushback okay this is enough you are requesting pushback you are understand one you are ready for departure. Your aircraft is Airbus 320 with turbulence medium. Okay. These four information you had given. You are on a stand one. Aircraft type Airbus 320 with turbulence medium. You are ready for departure. You are requesting pushback. Done. So this is the formatting of call. Okay. Similarly. Similarly. If that is for you, request of taxi. You can say <coughs> Mumbai ground, Victor Tango, Alpha, Bravo, Bravo. Now you can say on 
जो भी उसका फ्रीक्वेंसी है दिस इज द बेटर प्रैक्टिस ऑलवेज ठीक है स्टैंड फोर एयर बस थ्री टू जीरो वेक टर्बुलेंस मीडियम डोंट राइट इज डब्ल्यू एम एज आई हैड रिटर्न हेयर Sorry for that shortcut. You should write it like this only. Wave turbulence medium. Information Bravo. Ready for departure. Request push back. This is push back and instructions to. taxi okay all data found you relevant to this question any confusing thing you found here you are requesting your taxi instructions to taxi push back because once you pushed back from apron next thing what you are going to do taxi and in a busy airport you want to get such a time ki aap pehle aaram se push back kar lo Then आप टैक्सी का टाइम ढूंढोगे ठीक है सो पुश बैक एंड टैक्सी यू कैन डू सैमिलटेसली यू कैन हैव क्लियरेंस फॉर बोथ ऑफ द थिंग्स इन अगल टाइम ओनली ठीक है इंफॉर्मेशन ब्राइव अबाउट अप्रूवल ऑफ योर फ्लाइट प्लान यू आर स्टैंड फोर एयरक्राफ्ट टाइप एयर थ्री ट्वेंटी एक्टरबुलेंस मीडियम यू आर रेडी फॉर डिपार्चर डन एनीथिंग एल्स सर यस मेरा एक्चुअली ये जो वेट टर्बुलेंस है उसके रिगार्डिंग थोड़ा सा जानना है मैं इतना दिन इसको वेट समझता था एक्चुअली डब्ल्यू बस लिखता था नो नो दिस इज वेक 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 वेट टर्बुलेंस क्या होता है वेरी गुड यस्टरडे आल्सो आई हर्ड वन टाइम वेट बट आई थॉट कि दैट कैन बी अ टाइम ट्विस्टिंग टू यू मैंने इसको नोटिस किया था कि यू हैड सेड वेट बट होता है ना कम्युनिकेशन में रिसीवर में आल्सो फील सम एम्बिग्विटी ट्रांसमीटर और आल्सो में फील सम एम्बिग्विटी वेक टर्बुलेंस क्या होता है डब्ल्यू ए के ई वेक टर्बुलेंस मींस द एरोडायनेमिक डिस्टरबेंस क्रिएटेड बाय योर एयरक्राफ्ट थ्रू द पावर ऑफ इंजन थ्रू दिस थर्स्ट ऑफ योर इंजन इससे जो एक जॉस्ट निकलेगा ना वो एयर को इतना टर्बुलेंट करेगा दैट मे बी दैट मे बी अनकंडीशनल फॉल एनी काइंड ऑफ हेलीकॉप्टर बिहाइंड दैट और एनी काइंड ऑफ स्मॉल एयरक्राफ्ट बिहाइंड दैट ओके सो स्टार्टिंग ऑफ इंजन ऑफ योर एयरक्राफ्ट मे डिस्टर्ब एनी अदर दैट्स वाई यू नीड टू से वेक टर्बुलेंस की हाउ मच माई एयरक्राफ्ट इज गोइंग टू बी डिस्टर्ब द अदर एयरक्राफ्ट दैट कैन बी डिस्क्राइब इन टू थ्री कैटेगरीज दो मीडियम एंड लो दिस हैवी कैन बी फर्दर सब डिवाइडेड इन टू सुपर हैवी ठीक है Which aircraft is going to be create low turbulence? Are you saying is there data any from your side? Is there any data from your side? Yes, sir. Below seven thousand kg. Very good. Maximum takeoff. Below seven thousand kg maximum takeoff weight aircraft. If aircraft is having maximum takeoff weight below seven thousand kg, it is going to be create low turbulence. If someone is having weight. In between seven thousand kg to one lakh thirty six thousand, that is going to be create medium turbulence. Above than that, they are going to create heavy turbulence. Okay. Are there any doubt? No, sir. No doubt, sir. Are we clear? Very, very good. You should be clear. You should ask multiple times these things. Okay. Any problem, guys? Till now. No, sir. Okay. Uh, check with one more thing like whenever you are saying whenever you are saying ready for departure you can use you can use instead of ready for departure 
you can use security check cleared security check cleared whom security check passengers because you are on a commercial aircraft you can use security check cleared ready for departure okay so you can use as many hypothetical data you can think okay you can so we have to add this thing with the ready for departure i mean uh, yes yes we'll say security you, clear then ready for departure yes yes you need to That's add this thing you need to add this thing okay? okay sometimes you may also see that uh, you may also see somewhere people are adding passenger on board 75 90 these are the additional data you can use as per your suitability of call okay but use as much as minimum data you can which can justify which can justify your present position theek hai aapke present position ko justify kar sake try to put maximum evidence in your call so that etc can understand your real situation and give clearance which will be directly beneficial to you okay because if you are having medical passenger and you are going to request for push back wo aapko aaram se kisi dusre teesre number ke baad jaake instruction dega but if you say medical passenger on board request taxi on priority he will give you permission of taxi on priority okay so these are the things you should analyze from your side you can put these additional data to the atc to show your priority always prioritize yourself okay yes sir sir this uh, security check cleared exactly at which case we can use you can use in case of commercial aircraft in case of commercial aircraft for taxi instructions you can say in a normal call only security check cleared passenger on board 75 ready for departure request instructions to taxi okay okay very good so we'll have a, a break of 5 minute after break we are going to see some more interesting thing we are going to see the chart today okay aeronautical chart I'll keep checking your expertise in the calls related to the ground, to upcoming sessions, and uh, I think I had covered almost all the situations that can be checked on ground. Okay. So these are the things. Any confusion till the time, including yesterday's and today's class regarding the calls uh, to the ground. No sir. Very good. So this is it. Now today we are going to learn about chart. What are they called? R T charts. In the field now you will get e charts instead of charts. I think while planning for the maintenance, Abhishek find these things very prominently or most frequently, right, Abhishek? Yes, sir. How many days this e charts is valid for? Fourteen days. Okay. I have data twenty days. I have that time. Twenty-eight days. We the general aviation people do this very frequently, right? So this was E chart. So this was E chart. Chart means, in the simple meaning, whatever you are understanding with this word map in a general general knowledge thing. Whatever the things you are understanding with this word map, 
just think like this ki over this maps some of the hypothetical routes have been passed aerial routes some of the station is being named as a airport aerodrome any kind of non directional beacons you will get to know what I, what these words i am saying anything that have been placed on a boundary of any country okay so this will become charts to you maps ke upar hypothetical data put kar diya gaya theek hai and we are following these routes these way points these things as a traffic to hamara jo ye sheet hai overall sheet ये बन जाता है चार्ट ओके एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फॉर्मेट ऑफ इट इज कॉल्ड एच ई चार्ट एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फॉर्मेट ऑफ इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फॉर्मेट ऑफ इट्स इज बींग कॉल्ड ई चार्ट ठीक है नाउ वॉट इज दिस ई चार्ट इन रियलिटी लेट मी शो यू दैट अनदर स्क्रीन confirm if this is visible to you affirm i was expecting that so this is e chart just give me a second sorry guys so this is hypothetical ats charts you can see you can see here what is it written here hypothetical ats chart root chart okay you will get total a charts in the similar manner same figure as you are looking at here same chart you will get in the exam same diagram same data same thing each and everything is same that you are going to get in your exam no difference in there and that has been shared to you in the drive link do practice in this chart only so that you have clarity while giving the exam and you have practice of each and everything okay what is this ats means ats what is this ats air traffic service yes air traffic service is very good this is hypothetical chart why this is hypothetical hypothetical chart because this is not real anything which is which is not real is being called hypothetical ठीक है बोलते हैं ना रियल लाइफ एंड रियल लाइफ रियल लाइफ मीन्स सपनों की दुनिया मन ग्रंथ चीजें हीरो आएगा कार को उठा के फेंक देगा लाइक दैट ठीक है दैट्स व्हाई दिस थिंग इज हाइपोथेटिकल व्हाई दिस इज हाइपोथेटिकल बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट रियल यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू फाइंड 
Sikandrabad near to the Delhi. Where you will find this Sikandrabad? In Hyderabad. Okay. So these are the things. That's why it is hypothetical because this is not real. But examiner will ask question to you giving these dark charts only. Look at this chart very carefully. ये आपको मैप जैसा लग रहा है ना नक्शा जिसको बोलते हैं नक्शा लेट मी गिव एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस इन लैंडस्केप मोड दिस विल लुक्स मोर बिगर टू यू ठीक है ये आपको नक्शा जैसा लग रहा है नक्शा होता है ना नाउ यू कैन सी द लेजेंड्स इसको क्या बोलते हैं लेजेंड्स किसी भी टाइप के मैप पे आप देखते हो ना कई बार ऐसा बना के ऊपर एक ऐसा झंडा फहरा दिया जाता है इफ यू हैव सीन एनी मैप्स ये डिनोट करता है टेंपल को ठीक है ऐसी चीजें डिनोट करती है पक्की सड़क को पेमेंटेड रोड्स ऐसी ऐसी चीजें डिनोट करेगी रिवर्स को सिंपल रोड है थोड़ा सा डार्क ब्राउन कलर का दैट विल डिनोट कच्ची सड़क को ठीक है Have you seen such uh, such kind of charts, both of you? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So, in this map also, you are having some of the legends. This will help you to find what such symbols actually represents. If you are going to uh, find black straight line, thin line, not bold one. okay if you are finding any black straight line this represents ats route air traffic services route and what does route actually means route matlab road pathway theek hai route means road pathway you can say this is the route in between point a to point b okay then you can see this bold blue color line this one bold blue color line what it actually represents tma terminal movement area okay tma see for example this is the kolkata airport this area this cross section covered with this blue line this region will be under kolkata terminal movement area okay it means this region will coordinate kolkata control for any kind of information ठीक है एंड देन यू फाइंड सी टी ए वट इज द सी टी ए कंट्रोल एरिया कंट्रोल एरिया सी देर आर टू थिंग्स वन इज कंट्रोल जोन एंड वन इज कंट्रोल एरिया ठीक है If you look at this airport, this is Nagpur airport. You have seen two circles, okay? Two circles. Inner circle will represent CTR control zone. What is the full form of CTR control zone? You are going to get why this is control zone and area. What is special in this? We are going to get. Don't worry. This area will be called CT. a control area theek okay? hai inner circle is zone outer circle covering inner circle outer circle including inner one comes under ct a control area theek okay? hai then you are going to get 
are these points clear? CTA, TMA, and ATS routes. Just for uh, name, we are going to get in detail. Then you are finding this one, the Pentagon safe figure to you. In the real life chart, this is hexagonal. This is hexagonal. But in the chart, you are going to see as a pentagon. No problem. Whatever the shape it is. Either it may be represented with a star. If my legend so, this star is VOR, then this is VOR form. This is VOR. VOR means an aerodrome, an aerodrome which is having radio station and which direction can we find with the help of aircraft cockpit instrument which has some set of instrument of which direction can we find with the help of aircraft instrument. Koi bhi aerodrome जिसके पास कैपेबिलिटी हो कि वो हमारे एयरक्राफ्ट के इंस्ट्रूमेंट पे इन द नेविगेशन पेज सीएनएस पेज हमें उस एयरफील्ड का बियरिंग डायरेक्शन हमारे स्क्रीन पे शो हो जाए उस एयरफील्ड को कहा जाता है वीओआर वीओआर का फुल फॉर्म होता है वेरी हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी ओमनी range but this is not going to clear your doubt very high frequency omni range what very high frequency omni means all directional okay omni range what omni range direction indicator or direction finder i think now it is been clear to you Understood what is VR? Sure. And this NDV, non directional beacon, non directional beacons, and these VO are combinedly called as waypoints in your routes. Okay, combinedly called as waypoints. What is the basic difference in between VOR and NDV? That over NDB, over NDB, you will not have any kind of aerodrome. Okay. Over non-directional beacons, you will not have any kind of aerodrome. These triangular figures, this is also comes under waypoints only. Okay. So, Waypoints consist VOR and DB and this triangular shapes. This is also comes under NDBs only. Okay. Got it? Any doubt? No, sir. Suppose you have a flight from Patna to Kathmandu. Okay. This straight line will become root to you. This line also becomes root to you. You can follow this way. So what all this becomes? Root to you. Whatever the route you are going to follow, you can only follow these straight lines, okay? You cannot go SI Sakarte way. Understood? Yes, sir. Then can't be interactive so that uh, I can have confidence that you are getting these things, okay? Interaction is a better thing, by the way. So, yes, sir. This becomes, these are roots, okay? Now, this is road ka kuch naam hota hai na? NH31, SH44, Delhi Mumbai Expressway, uh, Purvanchal Expressway, Delhi uh, Bangalore Pune Highway, such things. So, 
इस रूट का भी कोई ना कोई नाम होगा इस रूट का भी कोई ना कोई कॉल साइन होगा ठीक है कि हम इसको किस नाम से बुलाएंगे ठीक है सो दीज रूट ऑल्सो बींग नोमिनेटेड विद कॉल साइन आपको हमेशा कॉल साइन मिलेगा और रूट्स का कॉल साइन ऑलवेज यू विल गेट फर्स्ट एनी अल्फा न्यूमेरिक फोनेटिक्स टू यू एंड यू विल गेट थ्री डिजिट कोड्स फॉर अडियस रूट नाउ डोंट फाइंड एनी लॉजिक वाई दिस इज सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इज इट आप बोलोगे अरे चक्की से क्यों नहीं बोल दिया वाई वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड कॉल साइन ऑफ रूट नियर टू दिस स्ट्रेट लाइन एवरी टाइम ठीक है एंड जहां कभी भी आपको एक स्ट्रेट लाइन पे मल्टीपल कॉल साइन दिखे फॉर दिस जस्ट फॉर एग्जांपल हेयर यू आर हैविंग रोमियो थ्री टू फाइव हेयर यू आर हैविंग गोल्फ थ्री टू फाइव एंड रोमियो थ्री टू फाइव ठीक है सो so, अभी क्या है जहां पे आपको ऐसे मल्टीपल एक ही लाइन पे मल्टीपल रूट दिखे ना सो स्प्लिट इन बिटवीन वे पॉइंट ठीक है वे पॉइंट में इसको स्प्लिट कर लो मीन्स From this Dumka to Janakpur, this is going to be Romeo three to five, and from this waypoint to this waypoint, this will become Golf three to five. This is the importance of waypoints. Are you getting this? Yes, sir. So this is the importance of waypoints because. finding waypoints you are going to complete your flight suppose your aircraft is being flight from patna to kathmandu what are your waypoints can be in this route g336 this is route i am asking about waypoint and also also don't say g336 what could be right pronunciation of it golf 336 okay golf 336 yes sir and this chart is such ki you will find every one's call sign near to the diagram everything's call sign you will find near to the diagram only agar aapko kisi line ke aas pass uska koi naam nahi dikhta hai na to try to look around you will have the name definitely For example, this triangle is here. One more triangle is here. See this Omupa, O M U P A. Omupa is the name of this NDV. Okay, the uh, Dodood. This Dodood is the name of this NDV. These names is sometimes funny in this chart, but this is the name. Yani. Call sign of this NDV. This Lika, Lika is the name of this NDV. Bugip is the name of this NDV. See, Bugip is not being written immediate of it. It has some gap, but this can be understandable. There is no confusing data, so that you can say Bugip to this. Okay, up easy to. Sir, this boogie flick are not any business. This triangle waypoint. This sir. Yeah, see, these are the waypoints only. These are the waypoints. These NDVs and these triangles comes under waypoint only. Okay. So these are also waypoints simply. NDV also comes under waypoints. Waypoints का मतलब हुआ आपके रास्ते के बीच में जितने भी रिमार्केबल पॉइंट्स आएंगे वे पॉइंट्स ठीक है एनडीवी को भी वे पॉइंट्स बोला जा सकता है ठीक है बट दिस ट्रायंगल डज नॉट हैव एनी रेडियो स्टेशन व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस ट्रायंगल एंड दिस सर्कल 
Thus, this triangle is a wave point. It does not have any radio station. That will simply becomes wave points to you. You are right. I will say that this is simply wave points to you. This is also a wave points to you, but this has radio station, and this becomes NDB, non-directional beacon. Okay. This is such. Any confusion? Yes. Yeah. No, sir. Got it. And what is this VR? This is also part of your waypoint. If your way is from here to here, this VR is also part of your waypoints. Okay, waypoints में सब आ जाएगा. But what is the additional thing? This point has aerodrome plus radio station. Okay. So you will find the name of any diagram, any symbol, just near to it. Like here, you can see Lucknow and Kanpur. Lucknow, यहाँ पे लिखना possible नहीं था, तो यहाँ पे short पर लिख दिया और Lucknow को अलग से describe कर दिया. Similarly for Kanpur, this uh, writing of Kanpur may interrupt this wave line, uh, blue line. तो इसको थोड़ा pass में लिख दिया. You will get call sign of each and everything. Just try to look around. Is that clear? Now, one more thing you will see. These green lines. Okay. These are the FIR boundaries. We had four FIRs. What are those? In India? Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata. Kolkata. And Sabah. Sabah FIR is Kolkata. Hmm, very good. Very good both of you. So we have Delhi and we have Mumbai. So how we are going to find which is Delhi, which is Mumbai by defining a border line. So this green line is border line of Delhi FIR and Mumbai FIR. Okay. Any doubt till the time in these legends? In these legend, in these legends, if you have any doubt to Understand what are these and what is the use of these? Okay, no doubt. So these legends are clear to you. And also you have seen that name of the station, name of the route will be written near to it always. Okay. Is that clear? See, name of suburb is written near to this one. Okay. So this delta is waypoint. Yes, one of the waypoint. This is also a waypoint. Okay. See, what is the general meaning of waypoint? general meaning of waypoint is if your path is from here to here okay a to b doesn't matter what comes in between to you everything is waypoint for you because this is your way and these are the points okay these are the marking points Key out of these three points, you had conquered this one, you had conquered this one. Now you need to reach here. Okay. These all yes, are waypoints. What is the extra thing that some of is being called as a VOR station? Some of this is being called a NDB, and some of some of uh, this is left as a simple waypoints only. Okay. Why? Because this is being differentiated with features. VOR ke paas aerodrome rahega always and radio station. Is ke paas dono mein se kuch nahi rahega. And this round one. What is that? Is ye. Is ke paas aerodrome hoga but 
इसका वीवार नहीं होगा इसके पास मैग्नेटिक बियरिंग नहीं होगा टू शो यू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एयरड्रोम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लैंड एयर आपको वी एफ आर यूज करना पड़ेगा ठीक है ये इसका मीनिंग होता है ओके दीज आर नॉन डायरेक्शनल वीकन्स इफ दिस हैज बीन अलर्टेड टू सम सिटी इसके पास जो एरोड्रोम होगा वहां पे रेडियो स्टेशन होगा वहां पे व्यू आर नहीं होगा ठीक है इज देर एनी डाउट नो सर वेरी गुड सो दीज आर द थिंग्स वट इज द इम्पोर्टेंट वन एंड डीवी नॉन डायरेक्शनल बीकन्स वी यू आर एंड वे पॉइंट सिंपल वे पॉइंट नथिंग टू वरी इन द रियल ग्राफिक शिनाडियो रियल जो चार्ट आता है ना वहां पे यू वॉन्ट बी कंफ्यूज इन बिटवीन एन डी बी वी यू आर एंड दीज वे पॉइंट नथिंग इज कंप्लीकेटेड इन द रियल ग्राफ शिनाडियो here also you need not to matter much what is this what is this what is this you just simply need to know a basic example what are these whatever the things come in between of your root just consider this as a waypoint just consider this as a waypoint इन बिटवीन ऑफ योर वे ये आया ठीक है यू आर गोइंग टू मेक एस्टिमेट विद दिस दैट इज द यूज ऑफ वे अगर फॉर द रियल लाइफ सीनेरियो ये जो होते हैं ना वे पॉइंट रियल टाइम में इसके पास भी रेडियो टावर होता है इट हैज कैपेबिलिटी टू ट्रांसमिट एंड रिसीव द मैसेज वाइल क्रॉसिंग दिस वॉट सिंपली यू नीड टू डू आप यहाँ पे ड्रॉप करते चले जाओगे पासिंग Dt. For this example, if you are passing over this, you just need to say Varanasi control passing Dt. इसके पास होता है radio transmission tower. सिर्फ tower होता है इसके पास wave points के पास. In the real life scenario, because I had made multiple flights in cockpit of helicopter, there I found ये जो होते हैं ना wave points इनके पास रियल लाइफ सिनेरियो में टावर्स होते ही होते हैं और पासिंग दिस वे पॉइंट्स यू जस्ट सिंपली नीड टू रिपोर्ट योर नेक्स्ट कंट्रोल दैट यू आर पासिंग लीका समटाइम्स आल्सो दिस लखनऊ आस्क यू टू रिपोर्ट पासिंग लीका टू द लीका तो आप जैसे ही यहां आओगे आप बोलोगे लखनऊ कंट्रोल पासिंग लीका या ओवरहेड ली का ठीक है एंड दिस राउंड फिगर्स एन डी बीज मतलब इसका होता है नॉन डायरेक्शनल बिकन यू वॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ नॉन डायरेक्शनल बिकन बस सिंपली यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज ऑल्सो अ काइंड ऑफ एरोड्रोम जहां पे ऑटोमेटिक डायरेक्शन सपोर्ट नहीं है ठीक है so uh, join us back very soon we'll cover some more data to this chart immediate join please after the session okay so how it really goes
जब आप एफ एम एस में डाटा एंट्री करते हो यू नीड टू फिल योर फ्लाइट प्लान थ्रू एफ एम एस पेजेस फ्लाइट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इन मॉडर्न डेज ठीक है इसमें क्या होता है कि आपका जो नेविगेशन डिस्प्ले होता है वो पहले था आपका एच एस आई और जेंटल सिचुएशन इंडिकेटर एवरीथिंग इज रिलेटेड विद जायरो जायरो आपको यूज किया गया था इन द इनिशियल डेज ऑफ नेविगेशन टू आइडेंटिफाई द एटीट्यूड एटीट्यूड व्हाट एटीट्यूड इंक्लूड्स विच योर एंड रोल विच रोल एंड योर These three attitudes they need to know. उसी में जैसे जैसे आपका रेडियो डेवलप हुआ ना तो एड करता चला गया एंड इट बिकम्स आर एम आई रेडियो मैग्नेटिक इंडिकेटर रेडियो मैग्नेटिक इंडिकेटर इन प्रेजेंट डे हाउ इट विल लुक्स लाइक दैट यू विल हैव अ डिस्प्ले हेयर ऐसे टू में डिवाइड हो जाएगा यहाँ पे आपका सारा डेटा रहेगा इन द अब पार्ट ऑफ दिस दिस विल बिकम योर एडीआई एटीट्यूड डायरेक्टर इंडिकेटर ठीक है दिस विल बी रियल जैरो फॉर यू ये आपके एयरक्राफ्ट का टर्न बैंक रोल योर दिस थिंग्स विल सो हेयर ठीक है एयरक्राफ्ट का करेंट एटीट्यूड एंड दिस विल बिकम नेविगेशन डिस्प्ले टू यू यहाँ पे आपको ऐसा सो होगा इफ यू आर हैविंग आर एम आई आपका एक यहाँ पे एयरक्राफ्ट का सिंबल बन जाएगा एंड जब आप यू आर एंट्री करोगे फ्रॉम वन स्टेशन टू अनदर लाइक बेंगलोर टू पुणे यहाँ पे एक मेजेंटा कलर का लाइन बट मेजेंटा कलर तो ये हो जाती है विच वन इज मेजेंटा कलर And going to suggest so it is a pink color. <laughs> Aise color ka line. This one. I think this one is magenta. ठीक है हमेशा इस कलर का लाइन बनेगा आपको स्क्रीन पे एंड पायलट हैज टू फॉलो अरे पायलट हैज टू फॉलो दिस कलर ऑफ लाइन सॉरी पायलट हैज टू फॉलो दिस लाइन जिस भी तरह से आपको ये बनेगा ना यू नीड टू फॉलो ऑलवेज दिस मेजेंटा लाइन इन द रियल लाइफ सिनेरियो इसी को फॉलो करते हुए पायलट चलता है और देल रीच टू द नेक्स्ट व्यू आर दैट इज बींग डेस्टिनेशन फॉर इन अगर आप इन बिटवीन कहीं पे लेफ्ट राइट टर्न करोगे ना ये लाइन थोड़ा थोड़ा सा ऐसा ही कांस्टेंट रहेगा बट योर एयरक्राफ्ट का सिंबल आपके एयरक्राफ्ट का सिंबल डेविएट होता चला जाएगा लाइक like दिस थोड़ा थोड़ा डेविएट थोड़ा चला जाएगा सो यू विल गेट टू नो कि इफ यू फॉलो दिस हेडिंग यू विल गो समेयर इन दिस डायरेक्शन व्हाट यू नीड टू डू यू नीड टू अगेन रीच टू दिस लाइन ठीक है सो इन द रियल लाइफ सिनेरियो इस कलर का सिंबल फॉलो करना होता है हमेशा एंड व्हाट एक्चुअली हैपेंस अभी के टाइम पे तो कॉकपिट में ही ऐसा सिंबल बन जाता है सम ऑफ द हेलीकॉप्टर डज नॉट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ सम ऑफ द हेलीकॉप्टर्स एंड मेनी ऑफ द एयरक्राफ्ट्स नाउ आल्सो दे हैव कॉन्वेंशनल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ऐसे ऐसे वाले इंडिकेटर उसमें एक गार्मिन का आता है जीपीएस ठीक है they they had programmed in such a way they had programmed in such a way ki wo bhi aapke gps ki tarah kaam karta hai jaisa aap map mein laga dete ho na apne phone mein to ek station se dusre station tak chale jate ho similarly here if you put the vr1 to vr2 to this garmin device it will create a system somehow like this i'll show you how it will create this will create
a line like this behind the screen आपके स्क्रीन पे एक बार में इतना ही शो होता रहेगा जैसे जैसे आप इसको क्रॉस करते चले जाओगे ये सारे वेब पॉइंट आपके नजदीक आते चले जाएंगे और आप जैसे इस वेब पॉइंट को रीच कर गए ना इट विल कम्स क्लोजर आपका स्क्रीन वही रहेगा ये लाइन शॉर्ट होता चला जाएगा दिस विल बी पुल्ड टू दिश फिर आपके पास कितना बच गया इतना एरिया अगेन वेन यू कम्प्लीट दिस दिस विल बी पुल्ड एंड शॉर्टेड टू यू तब आपके पास सिर्फ इतना बच जाएगा ठीक है सो ऑन द स्क्रीन योर एयरक्राफ्ट सिंबल विल बी लाइक दिस ऐसा करके सिंबल बन जाएगा एंड व्हाट यू नीड टू फॉलो दिस लाइन दिस लाइन ऑलवेज ऑलवेज यू नीड टू फॉलो दिस लाइन ठीक है यू विल रीच टू योर डेस्टिनेशन On your screen like this और यहाँ पे आपका ऐसा ऐसा magnetic का वो बना रहेगा magnetic bearing का 360 degree heading ठीक है so this will show north south east and west and when you are turning left or right this compass will rotate in this direction is that okay Yes, sir. What you need to actually follow this magenta color line. I think magenta color यही होता है. If I'm not uh, very clear with this color, but also आपका यही color तो यही रहता है. Whatever it is. Let me check. वो तो pink रहता है magenta. कैसा रहता है? Little pink, right? Next time मैं magenta color search करके बता दूँ. कलर तो समाव यही रहता है समाव नहीं एग्जैक्टली यही रहता है माय स्क्रीन इज विजुअल टू यू हाँ वाज राइट मेरा स्क्रीन आप लोगों को दिख रहा है ना दिस लुक्स दिस लुक्स लिटिल डिफरेंट यहाँ प्रॉब्लम आ जाता है लाइक द कलर आई एम सीइंग ऑन माय स्क्रीन यू माइट नॉट एबल टू सीन दिस बट फाइंड मैजेंट This color is exactly the same. The two colors I am getting here, like here and here, color maybe you have some different, but this is magenta color, and you need to follow your magenta color pathway into your navigation display. That that will take you to the destination always. Okay? Yes, sir. Let me show you some more thing on the screen so that we can understand it. The following of RT is also a thing to feel. If you won't feel it now, you will not get it. I have flown in the helicopter in the cockpit. To uh, support as a technician, that's why I have seen that scenario. I was also thinking ki how they are managing the routes. Then I follow. It becomes such a simple thing that he just need to follow that uh, that magenta colored lines, and they take to the de uh, destination. How I can show this to you? Okay. तो आपके ई चार्ट जो होते हैं ना वो इसलिए अपडेट किए जाते हैं बार बार ताकि आपका जितने भी रेडियो स्टेशन ऐड होते चले जाएंगे बीच में कुछ ना कुछ वो आता रहेगा अपडेट्स इन सम रेडियो स्टेशन एंड एरोड्रोम्स वो आपका अपडेटेड रहे द रेडियो फ्रीक्वेंसी आल्सो एनी काइंड ऑफ मोडिफिकेशन इन दैट एरोड्रोम और एयरफील्ड दैट ऑल्सो be updated okay i'm sharing my screen everyone be focused here don't look at these diagrams don't look at these diagrams just look here 
I think a uh, sign of hand is visible to you. Yes, sir. Look at here. Look at here. See, these are the waypoints. These are also waypoints. Waypoints. Many waypoints. This magenta color line ban raha hai na. You need to follow this. You need to go straight. Yahan pe. Uske baad aapko left turn karna hai. You need to follow this one. It will take you to the destination always. Got it? Yes, sir. So this will looks like this. These are the compasses. Uh, not only compasses. Uh, heading heading indicate hota hai. Ki you are on 12 degree, 13 degree, 15 degree. These are the indication of your heading. Nothing to do with this. You just need to follow this magenta color line. This is the uh, this triangle is the no. symbol of your aircraft. Okay, guys. Just, just a sec. Hello. Thank you.